new Projecto. Uh, well, let's see what we can do with this, eh? Back in the garage again today, or tonight actually. It's now oh, just gone 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, and we've got the next project here. She's finally home, ready for some sort of transformation, hopefully. Um, yeah, yeah. Phew. Where do we start? Um, hmm. Oh, but firstly, actually, the bike shed. The bike shed was absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, amazing. Firstly, amazing bikes, amazing venue, amazing people, amazing food, amazing music. Um, yeah, you, yeah, I couldn't fold it at all. It was just, it was just mega, and. Uh, I just feel very humbled to be uh, to be a part of it. To be honest, um, yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was way, way, way more than I ever expected. So um, yeah, just just praise really. Um, I'd like to actually sort of say thank you to anyone that stopped and had a chat or had a look at the bike. Um, I know a few of you guys may watch the channel, so um, yeah, just want to say thank you very much and appreciate your time to view the bike and I did speak to a few people. Um, it, it's a bit of a difficult one really because you don't want to pounce on everyone that's looking around at the bike, but at the same time, if you're like me, you want to know a bit about the bike so I was trying to kind of find other builders or kind of get them while they was at their bike so I could go and speak to them but it was just they kind of it kind of seemed like everyone had the same idea we got to sort of like all sort of wander around and uh, have a look at other stuff but but not too much time with our own bikes um, but I did um, I did kind of go over to people that maybe spent quite a lot quite a lot of time looking at the bike i just sort of went over to say hello and um, some of us some, some of them were well so some of them all of them were, were, were very gracious and and uh, uh you know very complimentary about what what had, what had kind of happened so yeah so bike shed definitely next year um with or without a bike maybe Maybe we'll be there with another bike if we can get something done in time, and if we can, um, yeah, if we can get kind of selected again, should we say? But yeah, bike shed amazing. If you've never been, go because yeah, if you're into bikes, there's some up there for every everyone. I mean, there was some amazing stuff there. Um, yeah, you know just completely different levels of, of, of builds, completely different budgets of builds. Um, yeah, it was, just, it was just mega. So so well done, Bike Shed, amazing. Um, yeah, anyway, back to this whole thing. We'll have a real quick look over it because at the end of the day, it's a Honda Hornet and it's not that interesting. And sadly, she's not that pretty either, so we'll just have a little look. So, here we go. What can I say, really? Um, it is a, I think it's a 2000 or 2001 model Honda Hornet um, CB600. Um, so it's a Honda Hornet S, whatever that means. Um, Possibly S for slow, who knows? <laughs> but no, yeah, it's just, uh, she's, she's quite ropey. Um, quite an honest bike, actually. There's nothing, there's nothing on it really that's been changed. So you've got original, oh, apart from the exhaust, obviously. Um, which actually may be for sale. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at that at a later date. But yeah, got standard indicators. Um, 
you know, kind of long lasting road tires as such. Um, I whipped the front fairing off because it wouldn't fit in the van, um, but it has got like a, like the front fairing. And I've got to say already, just whipping the fairing off makes it look so much better. Uh, because when it actually turned up and I brought it, I was a bit like, oh God, what have I done? What am I going to do with this? But now that front fairing's off, yeah, it looks, looks a lot better already, so that's good. Um, yeah, uh, so quite honest, really. It's had a few, she got a bit, few battle scars, look. We've got a bit of a homemade foot peg there. Engine's quite ropey. Looks, looks quite, you know, quite worn on the outside. I would imagine, so this bike came from London. I would imagine it's probably been a courier bike or something. Um, it's definitely, definitely been a, you know, a commuter bike. Um, so the engine sounds pretty sweet, actually. I have been up and down the road on it. And um, it actually pulls really, really well. And it's really, really smooth, actually. More than, uh, better than I expected. Um, so yeah, so en engine wise, I probably won't, well, I'm a little bit like if we don't need to open it, we won't open it. Um, but obviously the carbs are going to get a bit of a clean up. Uh, we'll do all that. Uh, possibly need to check the valve uh, clearance on them, apparently. Um, I'm no engine guru at all, so yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see. But, um, and, it, and it, also, it also came with a year's M MOT, um, which is fantastic because, yeah. We've actually got four coil completely covering the brake disc. Look, <laughs> and that was MOT'd. So um, yeah, it's a good job we're going to start again with it. Uh, we are going to be uh, yeah throwing away all the uh, well the the front ends going basically. So we've got different wheels coming for it. I keep saying we. It's not we. I keep saying it to, you know, pass the blame if something goes wrong with it or if we if if I make a mess. Sorry, but so I sorry, I've got some wheels coming. I've got some forks coming. Actually, the forks are here. Um, let's have a little look at the forks. There's the old S red look. Bless her. Nearly ready. Actually, nearly ready for an MOT, and that's gonna possibly be in my new daily. Not daily, sorry, you know, my new kind of road bike. Um, but yeah, we've got some forks. If I can undo them, there we go. So uh, these are off a ZX10. So we've got forks and top and bottom yoke. Um, yeah, so forks, wheels are coming. Uh, hopefully they're coming tomorrow actually I can't wait for them because for me kind of wheels make the bike the same as a car I love you know you, you can build a car but as soon as you put the wheels on at the end the wheels finish it they make it so uh, yeah yeah I don't really know what else to say about it she's a bit ropey and definitely needs some plastic surgery um, but yeah, other than that, guys, it's just the Honda Hornet. Uh, yeah. But I think in their, um, you know, in their earlier days, they were, they were a reasonably good bike. They were, I think they were very, or well, quite popular with like the street fighters and, and whatnot. Um, so I've seen quite a lot of street fighter Hornets, but very, very few calf kind of Hornets. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sorry, Freddy finger in the way. Um, I don't know which way I'm gonna go about this one. Um, I was going to go, I can't quite get it full in shot. I was gonna go with kind of classic calf racery style again but after being at the bike shed, I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot that we could do, but we'll see. Sometimes the bike will um, 
dictate how it's going to look. Uh, you know, sometimes something will work and sometimes it just won't. So will you uh, we stop saying we I maybe I mean we as in me and you guys that are watching. Maybe that's maybe that's a better way to look at it. So <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, maybe we will uh, have to see and uh, yeah, see what happens. But so that's it, guys. Honda Hornet next project. Dead excited. Loads of ideas. Um, but the first thing is to get all the ugly yeah, off it. So basically, the first job on this is to basically um, basically start taking bits off, really, and uh, quite heavy as well. Yeah, I think they. I think apparently they're just over 200 kilos or whatever they are. Kilos, ounces, grams. <laughs> I think it's kilos. Um, yeah, so the first thing is we'll start taking the stuff off of it and uh, bin what we don't want and see what we're left with. Probably not gonna really record too much of that because um, everyone knows what it's like stripping a bike. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's not particularly interesting. Um, but I might, might do a few little bits, but I'm not going to go into any major detail. So, first job is pull it to bits. And then the next job, get the grinder out. Yeah, so that was fun. Nice um, rusty nuts, so to speak. Uh, but actually, none of them, none of them actually broke. Surprisingly, it's always the way, isn't it? You want them to snap, but they won't. So yeah, nothing actually broke. Bit of a pain to undo, but let's see if we can pull this. There we go, look. There you go, another big lump off of it. Yeah, so, we've got a few bits off it now. So that's a start. Um, I'm gonna call it a day now, because it's getting late now. And I'm pretty knackered. So, uh, yeah, a few bits of plastic off. But, um, yeah, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll continue following our little our little journey with this thing and see what I can come up with. Um, yeah, still not 100% sure. Maybe, yeah, I'm, yeah, it was gonna be calf style, but yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens, but um, yeah. So we've got a few bits off of it. Um, yeah, just join me next time and we'll, uh, we'll pull a few more bits off of it. That's if I remember to record it because uh, I'm not very good at that. But yeah, we'll try and we'll, we'll get a few more bits off of it and, uh, and we'll have a look. Uh, in the meantime, keep well and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.